Hi everyone, this is Debbie with Plan Do Repeat. I am getting ready to um, prepare for the next year. Right now this is December 2020 and I don't know about you but I'm ready to move on. <laughs> so um, normally what I do is I make, uh, I use a composition notebook, just a regular plain one. I get these on sale normally for 50 cents or you can get them for a dollar just about any any store <laughs> that sells uh, any kind of amount of stuff but um, so I have two of these and uh, I wanted to show you what I normally do um, like I said I I normally this this is a like a glue book but I normally um, do like a monthly um, uh, notebook. So this one was all anime. Um, this one was all um, recycled garbage and, and trash and stuff. Um, but normally I do a month. I do a month every single month um, for many, many years, for as long as I can remember. And I just, I do it just the way I, I, I decide to do it on that month. I, this, Sometimes I don't do anything in the background. Sometimes I do. Um, sometimes I fill it full of images from magazines. Sometimes I don't. Uh, it just depends on what I want to do. Okay. So this time I'm going to be doing a little bit, something a little bit different. Um, today I'm going to be um, doing a quarterly uh, book and see how that works for me. I've never done that. So I thought what the heck I'll try it uh, So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to make um, one of these books into uh, my first quarter uh, Book it's a journal. It's a notebook. It's a planner. It's it's a glue book It's all of these things together. So I don't know what what y'all want to call it, but this is just my book um, and I'm going to have it for the first three months of 2021. And it's going to be for January, February, March. All right. Um, so what I do with these every single time is I take them and I glue all the pages together. Uh, I haven't done anything to this one because I wanted to show you what they're like. Okay. So this is, they both are the same and they're a hundred pages. Okay. And what I do is I take, uh, two pages and I glue them together okay that's all I do and I use a, a glue stick uh, you can use any kind of glue stick I used um, what is it the uh, let me see if I can find it because I did this in the living room of my home okay I can't find them but I used uh, the kind that turn purple and then they go um, they go clear when it dries. It's the um, Elmer's glue, um, stick glue. So all I did was I just took each page and then stuck glue all over it and then glued it together. And then this is what the result is. So I glued all of these pages while I was watching the uh, football game yesterday. Uh, it went fast. It took not very long at all. And now it's done. Okay. Uh, so now the next thing I want to do is I want to cover this. All right. And I am all about the checks right now. <laughs> so... I, I love them and I know this is not going to be for Christmas so I didn't want it to look like Christmas at all and I'm really into the rustic country kind of stuff so I'm trying to decide um, these are all from uh, one or two different um, paper pads I don't think no they don't say anything on them um, but you can just use whatever you want to use. This is was my preference. I, I just pulled out some that I liked. All right, so um, this one looks a little too much Christmassy, so I don't think I'm gonna use that one. 
Uh, this looks totally Christmassy too, so I'm not going to use that one. Um, hmm. What do y'all think? And I'm also going to be sticking one this on. Uh, okay. I don't know. I like that one. But this one doesn't look as busy, does it? I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to take this glue stick. Oh, wait. No. No. When I'm doing this, I like to use, um, what do you call it? <sighs> Double stick. Double stick tape. Um, it just works better for me. Uh, and what I do is I literally just take it and put it right here. And glue it on like this and I go up and around and down I'm gonna leave this black right here I may end up changing it but I always leave the black just in case I just want to have that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this on here and then I'm going to stick this on here like this and then I'll be right back Okay, so I thought I would go ahead and bring you back just to do this because some people asked me to. Um, so I just put the double sticky tape on the front and the back. Um, I don't normally do this on the um, back, but I was asked by uh, some, some uh, subscribers to do that so that they could see it being done. And I have no problem doing it for you. So this one's for y'all. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking off the double stick tape, double sided state tape. Um, I don't know what brand this is. It's, um, I got it on uh, Amazon. So all I do, all right, ready for the magic? <laughs> all I do is literally just stick it on where all the sticky tape is and that's it. That's it. There we go. And I just push it down. Okay. And I don't measure this stuff. I don't. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm one of those people. And so all I'm doing right now is I'm just cutting it. I'm using the, the uh, cover as my guide. And that's it. That, that's all I'm doing. Okay. So I'm, I'm telling you all of this because people see my books and they go, oh, I could never do that. No, you can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. This is so, so simple. It, you, you don't have to make it difficult, really. You really don't. Okay. All right. So here's the magic. Look at that. See, it went from this to this. Isn't that awesome? So let me put the second cover on and then I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. All right, so I'm gonna put this one away because I'm gonna be using this one for the second um, quarter. But I just wanted to show you that I have covered the front and covered the back, all right? Um, I may cover the inside of the front, maybe. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I will not cover the inside of the back side. Uh, I, I don't ever do that. Um, so what you do inside of your book is all up to you. All right. Um, this is, let me measure. Does it have the measurement on here? No, it doesn't. Okay. So 
I've got nine and three quarters tall and seven and a half wide. Okay, um, so it's not traditional eight and a half by 11. That's okay. I like the way that this feels in my hand. And some months I like to um, put uh, the month by hand and use, you know, magic markers or um, pens or highlighters or whatever, or, or paint or <laughs> watercolor, whatever I decide to do. But um, this year I was thinking about doing uh, this. I have a it's called printacalendar.com. This is where I got them from. But I have a, a monthly um, email that's sent to me every month with these calendars in it because I just love them because they, they have a lot, a lot of room in them. And so I was thinking about cutting them out, okay, and then just gluing them on here. Um, I don't use my monthlies very much, but I like to have them as a reference, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, and this is only for the three months, remember it's going to be January, February, and March. Now I, I went ahead and I printed out uh, the rest of the year through December um, so that I could prepare the other um, journals slash planners slash books <laughs> uh, at my leisure and so those are ready I figured since I was doing it, I'd go ahead and, and get it done so what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm going to be cutting these out and I'm gonna glue them down to the page and I will probably use this the scotch create glue stick I love it um, and that's probably what I'm gonna do this year all right so after I put in the the month all right, I, I'm thinking about going ahead and putting December too, because uh, I like to have a reference uh, when I'm looking at a month for last month and the next month. So that's just me. Um, but after I have the month in it, then I'm gonna do my weeklies. So it's gonna be a month and then five weeklies and then another month and then five weeklies and so on, okay? Now, normally, I like to um, put in my own week, okay? And I found this, uh, I don't remember what website I found it on. Uh, it's a it's a takeoff of the Happy Planner uh, dashboard. Um, but it's smaller, it doesn't have uh, whatever was printed up here. Whenever I find something online, uh, it's, it was a free printable, and I don't know where it was. Uh, I just did a search uh, for a week on one page, printable, free printable, and this was one of the ones that I found. So uh, I went in and I changed uh, a few things on it, brought it in smaller, put a bracket around it, and I'm going to be putting it on the right side of the double page spread for the week and on the left side I'm gonna be putting let me get one of these out okay I'm gonna be putting one of these and it it still mimics the um, the happy planner um, dashboard sort of um, but it's different <laughs> because I like to change my stuff around. So, uh, like I said, I made things different and I made them smaller so that they fit the page. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with these or not. Uh, I'm gonna try them the first month and see how they work. I normally like to put in my own stuff. I may end up gluing things on top or using washi tape or highlighters or magic markers or paint or whatever. I, I may be doing that to each page after this is down. I don't know. Um, but that's normally what I do because I like to make it my own. I journal in these things. I put what happened each day. I put what's going to happen. 
I mark off my list, my to-do list. I mean, I put down everything that you could possibly think into my books every single month. So this is going to be new for me to, to do quarters, okay? Um, so, yeah, that's, that's my plan. Um, and I'm really excited for bringing you along with this. I want you to, to see how this ends up, okay? Um, I have this stuff printed out and ready. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put this on the front here. Maybe ink this out or something. I need to put some kind of thing that says, you know, what month this is or what year, that kind of thing. So I don't know if I'm going to fussy cut this or just tear it or just cut straight. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to put it here, I think. Anyway, I wanted to uh, bring you along to show you what you can do with your composition notebooks. There are so many things that you can do with these things. And I, I want to show you all of the, all of the things. <laughs> so um, I'm going to be getting this up to date and then I'm going to do a flip through. Uh, so come on down and watch the part two with me. Uh, it'll be fun. But until then, peace out.